I'm Grant Moon. I'm making a video for Mustad for the Road to Calgary 2014. This shoe is an onion heel front shoe. It's got wide heels and a narrow branch and it's fully fullered from heel to heel. It's got a concave inside edge which is an important feature and it'll fit a Mustad 5 Libro arc. So to set up the onion heel shoe, I've cut 270 millimeters of 33 by 10. I'm gonna mark it 65 millimeters from each end on the inside edge. That'll be a set down point. Those are my set down points for where my heel ends and my middle of my shoe starts. So at our 65 millimeter mark right now, I, I bend the heel around and almost to 45 degrees. And I pack back into it. That's forming your onion heel. Start working my onion heel a little bit more. Draw it out. Put my inch round just in front of the 65 millimeter mark, go about one third of the way in. That's it. And now we'll draw a branch. Go, Chad. So now I'm going to turn it, do the same on the other end. Once I've got it roughed out, then I'm going to put the concave on the inside edge. So bend it at a 65 millimeter mark. Almost 45 degrees. Hit back into it. Creating my onion heel as I push it down. Now we can take our striker and go straight in with our inch round. Wonderful. Hold it. Now we just keep drawing out the middle until we got our length. Nice rip transition on the inside. And reverse bending it just makes it a little bit easier to get it up to the concave, up to the heel. Start putting the concave in. Now I'm going to do the concave on the other side. Reverse bend the heel a little bit so we can get into a concave a little easier. Next thing I'll do is I'll fuller it. Once I've fullered it, then I'll go and I'll rasp the concave. I'm going to fuller it in the straight. I'm going to fuller it a little bit coarser than normal because it'll get fine. I'm fullering just outside of middle.
I may not finish the following right where it's going to finish right now. I'll bring it back to its heels later. So now's a good time. I'll rasp my section up. Clean up the concave that I've just put in with my hammer. Right around the corner here. Bevel on the concave on the inside of the heel. Now we're ready to mark our center and make our shoe. Right now I have 12 inches. Make a nice front toe bend. I'm thinking about my heel angles now, just in case I have to change the cut on my heel to make it work to the sides of the frog. So I'm just fixing the onion heel, enhancing the chamfer on the heel. Now I can bend the shoe. I'll overlap my blows, nice finish on it. Nice heel corner. Push it over a bit. We've got half a shoe made. Now we've got to just fuller it. Let's clean up the area in front of the heel. And hold on, get a nice flow in. Start the flow of the outside of your branch. I'll clean up my heel. Now I can bend my shoe. Won't go up, so I'll just have to open it a bit. Just want to clean my heel up. Nice flattening. Mark my crease. Now the shoe's ready for fullering and nail holding. So I'll do one half and then I'll do one half. Fullering. Just opening out the fullering now so I don't have to hit it very hard. Gonna wire your brush up before we level it. Clean the anvil. Libro arc fives. So three in each branch. Put your holes. Thinking about the pitch of the foot. Level it. Check a Libro Arc 5 in it. Yep. Now we can finish the last branch. Pull it. Right. Level it. Three nail holes. Thinking about the pitch of the hoof wall.
flatten the shoe. Clean up my nail holes. Go through them this way with the back punch, just to clean them up. Libro Arc 5. That's so important when you get to the end that the nail holes fit because you waste so much time sizing nail holes otherwise. Sharp edge off the inside. And we're done. Last uh, leveling heat. Make sure it's level. Check with a Libro Arc 5. Nail holes are good. And we're done.